hello friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project supermarket billing system and uh, i have developed this project in java and mysql and the version for the jdk i am using is the jdk 1.8 and the mysql version is 5.6 so connecting mysql with java i am using the mysql j connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website also uh, i am running this project on the netbeans platform so the version for the netbeans i'm using is the netbeans 8.2 and this is a desktop application so all of the elements i have used from the swing right so this is a desktop java java and mysql based mini dbms project dbms because i have all the operations i have performed over the database means all of the add edit update delete operations is uh, performing on uh, database and database i'm using the mysql okay so this is all about the technologies i have used in this project so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the whole code these are the whole files and for running the project just click on this run button and once you click the run then you will get the login screen here you need to enter the username and password so the username is admin and the password is test okay so once you log in inside the system you will get the dashboard this is the admin dashboard from where you will be able to perform certain operations right this is the billing like that okay so this is the add product once you click on the add product you will get the product management form where you can add edit update and delete the product right so if you want to add any of the new product then you can add from here right like i'm adding toothpaste right cost per unit suppose 50 and company name colgate and type toothpaste right description you can add any description so once you click on the save the product then this product will be saved into the database and you will get the listing here right so you can see this is the listing and if you want to edit or delete it just click on the record you will get this window what you want to do you want to edit the record or delete the record so once you click on the edit the record then it will open in the edit form and you can update it right so once you click on this and update then that record will be updated successfully and once you click on it and you can see sorry so you can see this is uh, this has been updated right for delete the record just click on it and you can delete the record from here record deleted successfully right okay so you can see there is no toothpaste record available here right so this is the product report and you will get all of the product which you have saved into the database right so there are four parts available and all of the products is uh, coming from the database right so this is the product report second one is add sales so this is add sales from where you can sell the product means you can say sell dashboard so here you need to enter the customer name and password uh, customer name and mobile number so i am entering social and mobile number like uh, anything you can enter so once you click on the start sale then you will get the sales dashboard here from this drop down you will get all of the in this drop down you will get all of the product which you have added from the add product screen so this is parlegy quantity one add right so you can check that the products are getting added automatically and the cost is cost of the total product is calculating automatically also right this one right even you can increase the quantity also like this one so i need six so once you click on that then you will get okay the quantity per unit is 20 and the quantity is so total uh, amount is 120 and total cost customer needs to pay is 200 rupees if you want to delete any item just click on that it's asking for do you want to delete the item so it's, it's saying that yes so it's saying that okay and that item will be deleted uh, permanently from the cart right so once you click on the save order and exit then this whole information will be saved into the database and you will be able to uh, get this information later in the sales report section right so once you click on the save and um, 
lecture then that all information will be saved into the database <coughs> this is a sales report once you click on the sales report then you will be able to find the sales report and you can see this is order number 30 and this is a today date and the total amount customer is paid is 160 rupees right so this is all of the sales report right this is about project so once you click on the about project you will get the report of the project if you want to add the information of yourself then you can add it here right like name uh, roll number like that right so you can change the content from the java panel means a java that means right and you can add what you need inside it right so this is the logout and exit so once you click on the logout and exit then all of the session will be destroyed and this window will be closed so let me show you so this is logout and exit right so these all things i have developed inside this project uh, that supermarket billing system and i uh, i already told you that this is a java netbeans mysql project and it's a mini project mini dbms projects right which i have developed using the java swing and the mysql database okay this is a mini project because it contains very less number of functionality so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much